بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم این السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر کنٹینیوئنگ ود آر جرنی ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دا رول آف میڈیا آن کارپوریٹ گورننس اٹس رول اینڈ امپلیکیشنز ود دا شیئر ہولڈرز اینڈ ود دا اسٹیک ہولڈرز ٹوڈے دا ٹاپک از گوئنگ ٹو بی کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ پریس شیئر ہولڈرز ایکٹیوسٹ اینڈ انسٹیٹیوشنل انویسٹرس سو اگین وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ دا نٹی گریٹیز آف ہاؤ دی شیئر ہولڈرز اینڈ دی انسٹیٹیوشنل انویسٹرز would be responding uh, to corporate governance and press and the dissemination of news related to the institution in the press and what are the various consequences and repercussions of that particular news and how it is assimilated by the board of directors and also by the shareholders and the institutional investors. So this is a very important topic and uh, again uh, there are many examples. Uh, we have seen that uh, Robert Monks and Nell Minow uh, found the press useful in the struggle with management circles in the United States. So basically what we see is that the press also acts as a protection layer for whistleblowers uh, because uh, when the whistle is blown and the press takes up the issue and that is disseminated uh, across uh, the country or across the globe, then the implications uh, tend to change and the very powerful management or the very powerful board of directors uh, cannot quell or put a blind eye to what is happening uh, in the organization and that is extremely important and it has been seen that some uh, very good organizations just like we've been talking about the example of Enron and Worldcom and uh, also uh, how uh, it has uh, streamlined uh, various uh, incongruences within the organization and then we see uh, another aspect that uh, it has also uh, been practiced in emerging economies especially in the case of Korea where we see uh, that the various large conglomerates had to realign and recalibrate themselves and see how they can do business in a better way and also curtail corruption which was taking place uh, within their fold. The beginning of efforts to force change in uh, Korea dates back to 1996 and the formation of the People's Solidarity Participatory Democracy, uh, PSDPD. The activists in Korea relied on legal pressures including proxy battles, criminal suits and derivative suits and on the use of the press to shame corporate leaders. So again, what we see is that a multi-tier approach uh, basically uh, took place in Korea, uh, especially against bad governance and bad governance practices. And it was a multi-pronged approach, uh, which also entailed legal, legal battles, uh, proxy battles, criminal suits, derivative suits. So all of these different types uh, of legal instruments were used against these very powerful uh, kebol, because they're called as chebols or kebols uh, in, in, uh, in Korea. And they basically uh, were the financiers uh, for governments and therefore it was very difficult to uh, bring them into check. But since 1996, we've seen uh, a steady flow of rules and regulations and laws emerging which have controlled these tables or these large, huge uh, conglomerates uh, which basically uh, were the backbone of the Korean uh, economy. Uh, the success of press uh, stands in a sharp contrast with the failure of legal actions. Shareholders proposals are severely restricted uh, and cannot involve the removal of directors or auditors. So uh, what we see is, is that in all of this activism uh, that, is, that has been taking place, uh, we see uh, that uh, many a times uh, some legal actions uh, tend to fail, but the pressure of the press uh, tends to uh, build up a very moral standing and moral issue uh, which uh, can be assimilated and can be uh, channelized by the different stakeholders uh, of that particular industry or that particular institution. And then we also see uh, that uh, the shareholders, they also have certain limitations in which they cannot uh, remove the directors or auditors, which again becomes uh, a very severe restriction uh, to uh, counter uh, such mall practices or corruption, uh, which is taking in uh, within the particular organization. But the press puts a lot of pressure, both direct and indirect, and ensures uh, that uh, whatever wrong is taking place, at least that is stopped. And many a times it has been seen uh, that those involved in uh, such moral practices are removed from the institution and sometimes uh, even the institution has to get uh, winded up. Only successful legal challenge has been the one to ensure investors rights to speak at meetings. So again, uh, various uh, legal decisions have led to this uh, right of investors to speak uh, at meetings and therefore uh, channelize the outcome 
of a particular meeting. The effect of shareholder and public opinion pressure was an increase in the transparency. So, again we see that a public opinion one and secondly uh, the effect of shareholders uh, being catalyzed and leveraged uh, by the press tends to increase transparency and that is extremely important. Uh, institutional investors have many legal mechanisms to encourage change in corporate policies. Uh, the presence of an active press increases their influence. So, again ladies and gentlemen what we see is, is that these institutional investors uh, have many legal mechanisms by which they can impose their opinion or their rights uh, or how they want to see the future of the organization uh, and they have a direct influence on the corporate policies and many times what we see is, is that uh, with the presence of an active uh, progressive and truthful press uh, then the institutional investors uh, influence also uh, tends to uh, increase. Um, it provides a relatively cheap way to impose penalties on companies uh, and uh, it helps coordinating the response of other investors and availing themselves of potential legal uh, protection. So, again uh, what we see ladies and gentlemen is, is that the press, the news uh, is reinforcing, is augmenting, is strengthening the capacity of the board of directors and also ensuring uh, that the institutional investors do not lose out on their investment uh, because they carry immense influence uh, on the management and on the employees and therefore, uh, a, a very holistic approach is created through uh, these news channels and these news platforms uh, and uh, these news prints which tend to influence the organization and provides legal protection to all of the stakeholders uh, and all of the institutional investors which can lead towards a better organization. Thank you so much.